Greetings from Yellowstone National Park Geologist. You are witnessing one of the most beautiful parts of this park and it's from all of the rhyolitic ash that's made this large deposit that makes up the walls of that river uh, ravine with the waterfall in the background. This all started 640,000 years ago with a mega colossal eruption that occurred from a super volcano. So that's going to provide the source and the heat for the different thermal features we're fixing to look at. So let's take a look at a few of those. This is a fountain geyser called Vixen. This fountain geyser is having a series of uh, eruptions just as we were walking around the trail. It started going off and it's been going on now for a good five minutes. But I want to point out that there is no cone. There could be in the future with enough buildup of geyserite. Geyserite is that high silica rich material that developed at the surface here. Unlike the fountain geyser you just saw, this is a cone geyser, the most famous one in the world known as Old Faithful. So that's formed from layers upon layers of geyserite that build up from frequent eruptions. Welcome geologists to Yellowstone National Park. We are at Sulphur Cauldron and you can see the bubbling pot in the middle there. This is the absolute most acidic part of the park it rests at a pH of 1. That is 10 times more acidic than lemon juice. Regardless of which thermal feature you're looking at, they're all fueled by the same thing, a hot spot. So Yellowstone's still active and will continue to produce thermal features as long as that hot spot stays there. So stay tuned and I hope to see you at the next stop. Bye!